I mean, it was very important um, to, to be in that type of position. You know, we needed to win. Also, you know, for our own morale to know, you know, what it's like to win a, win a basketball game. I mean, you know, it's important for the guys. And, you know, like I've, I've said from the beginning, it's very important that we play the right way. And I think we did that, especially down the stretch. Defensively, we did a great job uh, holding them to six points, I think, in the fourth quarter, which is, I mean, that's, that's how you win basketball games. What you guys, uh, what happened in the third quarter? Were you guys able to do Andre Dawkins happened. I don't know if anybody anybody knows he can shoot it a little bit or will shoot it, but I mean he made a couple shots in a row. They opened the floor up, and you know they made a run. I mean you know this is the NBA and these guys are all hungry to hungry to be a part of it. So you get opportunities, you get a chance to step up. That's what you're supposed to do. And he did a good job, you know, spreading making us spread out a little bit more because he was making so many shots quickly, and it got them back in the game. I mean you know and, and basically uh, you know I think we got a little stagnated uh, defensively as well as offensively. We started to let our, our lack of making open shots offensively affect our defense. And, you know, we can't, we can't allow that to happen. We have to be a lot more disciplined in that, and, and I think we will be. Was the, the missing open shots kind of a factor in the 10 assists for you guys today? Well, I mean, I, I don't know if it made us tense as much as it affected our, the other end of the court. Um, you know, we, we have to do a better job, like I said, of not letting anything affect our defense. Defense is just energy and effort. And, you know, we have to communicate. We have to make sure that we give the proper energy and the proper, proper effort on the, on the defensive end, no matter what happens on the offensive end. So, you know, and, and at times that gets difficult because everybody wants to score. Everybody wants to look good, you know, when they have the ball in their hands and have an opportunity to, to score. So. What was the key to the response to their big run, the 18 0 run? I mean, how did you guys sustain the energy and effort that you're talking about in the fourth quarter? Was it individual players leading the way? Or? I, think, I think as a team, we, we took control of the game. Um, you know, they made some shots, they made a run, they were energetic, they were into it, and we didn't get rattled by it. We looked at the score, we knew, you know, it was plenty of time left, we knew we had a whole nother quarter, we knew we had to make sure we shored up a couple things defensively, and we knew we were getting open shots, we just weren't making them. So, you know, we had the confidence to continue with what we do and, and stay in the process. And, you know, I think, I think, like I said, the guys did a great job, especially defensively in the fourth quarter, and we took control of the game, even before we took the lead. Um, you know, they still were winning, I think, at a certain point, but I know our guys look calm, they look under control, it was like, okay, we got control of this game now, so, you know, now it's just a matter of time, so. You guys closed up a 12-0 run, too. I mean, the offensive execution late, I mean, what was working well during that final stretch? Lots of free throws. Well, I mean, yeah, we, we were getting to the free throw line. We were being aggressive. Um, we were being, being uh, confident with every cut, with every move, with every shot. And, you know, we made a couple shots. And, you know, again, getting to the free throw line definitely helps. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, uh, referees usually uh, reward the aggressor, so. Uh, after the first game, a lot of mistakes in that when you guys cleaned up a bit in this game, what was the difference? Well, I mean, you know, you get those first game jitters out, you know, at times it's, it's difficult to be, you know, under control. Things are going a thousand miles an hour. Um, you know, both teams played yesterday, so this is a back-to-back -back for both teams. And, you know, I, I think we did a, a really good job playing under control, especially offensively. We kicked the ball ahead. We found the open man. I mean, you know, when you make the right play, a lot of times the basketball gods smile, smile upon you, and you don't get as many turnovers, and you get more free throws, and, you know, certain things kind of work in your favor.